are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Oh God! Where's my knife? Uh, now this video's over. Uh uh. No, you got me. Fuck. This video was brought to you by Sebastian's Patreon. <laughs> hey, sorry, not sorry to bother you, but I have something very, very important to tell you. As you know, I have a Patreon, and now it's being upgraded per se. It's thick now, like Wano thick. There are now three tiers. I'll put the descriptions of all the tiers on the screen. Pause if you would like to read it. It's time to lock in, and by lock in, I mean every week we'll have a post. I'm just saying, if I was you, I would definitely go over to the Patreon and check it out because I'm giving back. So, yeah. If you would like to support the channel and the community, head over to my Patreon and tell me how you like it. Thank you for everything. Now, let's get back to the video. All right, so this is another Wintrossi video. Mm. You know, I feel like an idiot because I thought uh, they would go, like, delete their channel. And then I realized it was uh, on April 1st. Y'all ever feel like an idiot? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, like, bro, what? I felt so dumb. I put it on my Instagram story and everything with, like, a sad face. Boy, I was sad as hell. And then and then and then Cam gonna say he coming back to YouTube. Man, man, fuck April first. April fools this ass, nigga. Anyway, these are loved K-pop songs that I hate. This is Win Trusty's list. I don't really have any songs that I hate. I, that's a lie. But this video is not about me. Okay, this is about songs that they hate. So let's get straight to it. Let's go. Hello. Cancel Rosie here. Uh, uh. No more disclaimers. You know the rules. Let's go. I have my opinions and you have yours. But this is my channel so I get to talk first. Let's get it. Put your pitchforks down and listen to me. <laughs> Try to watch the whole video without screaming just yet. No. So please, enjoy the video. Okay, bye. Also, also the funny thing is, this is going to be... Um... <laughs> oh, let me screenshot this because I'm going to use this for uh, the, thub the thumbnail. But I was like, this is this is also me trying to like, you know, get some K-pop songs that I never heard and just like put in my playlist. So yeah. You're my celebrity. I just know everyone's already all on my throat with this one. Uh. I love IU as much as I despise this song, which is a lot. The pure disappointment on my face when I heard that chorus for the first time is a sight to be seen. Jesus. My ass didn't bother to even listen to it again, but I don't really care. Uh, uh, That's only one bad song on IU's almost flawless discography. I still need to she listen to more IU. Touch. My opinion won't sway her greatness. Not one bit. Okay, no, this might be the one. Uh, uh, Calm your keyboards typing, oh my god, you thrice K yourself. No, stop. It's not like I'm saying it's a bad song. I just think it's so overrated. I really don't see the difference with this song compared to their other ones. It's what it is, a twice song. I personally don't think it's anything special like most of their songs too. You know what's funny? Like, I, I don't know. I find that sentence like, I don't, I don't know what to think about that sentence. Like, it's a twice song. You know how like you have those, bro, you know how like you have those things where you talk to somebody and you try to like explain this to me. That is that. Like explaining a definition with the definite, like defining a word with the definition or defining the word with the word. Like, I feel, I don't know what that's called. What is that called? I don't know what that's called. That's, it's not a paradox, but it has something to do with English and grammar. Is that a paradox? That's not a paradox. Onomatopoeia, I'm not even about to start pulling words out of my ass. Let's keep going. Most twice songs, including this one, would be an 8 out of 10 on my scale. So I really don't understand how this is any better than their other songs when it's just on the same level. Ooh. One thing I hate too is how overplayed this song is. It's the first time I heard anything it. just to not hear this song in public ever again. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! Jesus Christ, this freaking song. <laughs> Bro, that meme of that jump being bass boosted ruined my ears. Oh my Jesus Christ. I'm sharing disdain for the song. Chorus. Yes. Right. A lot. Yes. And that's coming from someone who enjoys listening to Punch. Most people just hate NCT's music in general, <laughs> but I don't. And I still think this song is very much a no-no for me. I really don't get why this is considered one of their best songs. Wait, this is considered- <gasps> You fucking bitch! What are you talking about? 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 Are you talking about? Oh, God! Ah! Ah! I 
know you lying. <laughs> what you mean, love shot? Oh, oh. Now the pitchforks is up. You tripping. The pitchforks is up. Where am I? I don't own one, but where's my knife? Shut up. Where's my knife? Again, chorus. One more na 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 from their mouths, and I swear I'm ending it all. Come on, it's cut. Rough. I can't even elaborate further. I just really don't like it. What? Woo! Yeah. You don't like, oh my god, fuck you. Oh my god does not sound like that. What are you talking about? It's literally the same song remixed three times crying emoji. What? Oh my god tried to replicate the masterpiece that was Lan. Wow was just I don't even know actually. I remember being so underwhelmed when I first heard Wow. Bro, I remember the first time I heard, oh my god, and that part where it was like, Oh my god. Bro, that shit was. Who? Who? Oh my god. No pun intended. Bro, the 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 shock and awe that I felt when I heard that. Man, oh my I'm not gonna say it again. Right after the song ended, I literally said, that was it. Usually I'd say if I like it or not, but Wa was just so knotted that I couldn't even rate it. Han was actually pretty good, especially for the time it was released. Everything except for the few 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 chorus was okay. <laughs> but Wa did the song age poorly. Oh. It was probably because of the following songs they released like it that made it seem overdone. It's crazy that Idol can release something like Ayo and Latata but still occasionally do a Han 3.0. So yes, I am saying it got old. Oh, I've never heard this. Or have I? I'm not even gonna pretend like I wasn't bopping to this song first listen. Uh -uh. For a good two weeks this was on repeat. But sadly that was all the time I had to give. I swear this song aged like spoiled milk oh. right after their next comeback. Oh, God. Ladida raised this song from existence and I don't mind at all. Because Ladida was a whole fucking bop. Hell yeah. This song is stuck in 2020 and will forever be. Uh, uh, bye bye dun dun. Uh, you uh, done. <laughs> if someone ever pulls up to me and asks me to sing this song I'm going to smack them in the head so hard <laughs> they aren't even gonna remember it ever happening. Bludgeon them to death. Just like how I wanna forget about this song ever existing. <laughs> 2018 me was at peak devastation when this dropped. Oh god. Just right after the sexiest song ever created. Bad boy. The cake girls decides to do this to me. The cake girls. They really girls. gave me a banana song and I will never forgive them for it. <laughs> like why does this song even exist? I genuinely don't understand and I won't even bother trying to. I disdain <laughs> this song so much. Not as a K-pop fan or anything else. I feel like SM is like a dungeon and like once you get into sm you are succumbed to whatever they want you to do you're, you're just stuck in like a time loop <laughs> but as a rebel love and will forever do oh my God. that's funny Ooh. Ooh. i really do like some of the monster x songs drama rama shootout beautiful and maybe even gambler just to name a few but for the others, I'm so sorry, but it's a skip for me. Oh. I really can't stand some of their songs. Why not? Even before making this video, I tried listening to all of the songs on the list. And there's were one of the few ones I just can't listen to. What? I don't know. I just think there's a bit too much happening with these songs for my ears to take in and enjoy. <laughs> God damn. Literally the same opinion as the last one, but times 50. Especially the choruses in these songs. I love you could have gotten the much better chorus. Something like from going crazy would have worked. But no, loud music is cool and we have to maintain this badass image YG artists have. Uh, Come uh, on uh, YG, do better. Yeah, YG, do better. Boom boom. <laughs> oh. I'd categorize most Blackpink songs as guilty pleasure songs. Mm. You know songs that are just what the fuck but it bops so hard that you can't really complain. Yeah, those type of songs. <laughs> Except this one. Oh. Like, oh my god, it's so fucking bad. Oh shit, god damn. <laughs> this is what people think most Blackpink songs sound like, which is technically true. Now, in all honesty, I think Blackpink songs sound like How You Like That and Do Do Do. That's pretty much that, like that's pretty much it. Cause I remember the first time I listened to Blackpink, and those were the two songs. Like this was like right after I started seeing them in H and M, and I was like, "What is this?" And I just listened to like one of the songs. I was like, "Oh, huh," and like that in my mind was just that. You know what I'm saying? Like just, just 
that. <laughs> but while they're not all this bad, like the only good part in this song is Jenny's purr, and that's all. Well, uh, uh, these beats be going nasty. Individually, most of Somi's songs are for the most part enjoyable. But as a whole discography, I don't think it's all that. Mm. I think Somi is better off in a group than doing solo. It also doesn't help the fact that she only comes back once a year. <laughs> for the three years she's been releasing music, it's quite underwhelming. Ooh. And for being one of the most hyped idols ever in K-pop, I expect so much more. Somi, so if it. you're watching this, please leave the black label. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you motherfucker. This is some got seven song. Like, goddamn. <laughs> Also, why the fuck doesn't the T and the 7 match up? That makes me itch. That's just, that's just something that makes me itch. Oh my god, typography. I fucking hate it. Honestly, and this goes for most GOT7 songs, by the way. These songs could have been so, so, so much better. But for some reason, they always have that one part in the song that just ruins the whole thing. <laughs> Fly has the weirdest intro ever in a song that can make anyone listening skip it. Oh god. You calling my name could have been one of the best songs ever made if it weren't for that awful verse from Mark. Come on, yo, chill, hard bro. Hard carry is just annoying to listen to anymore, honestly. <laughs> he said hard carry is a hard carry. <laughs> Same with just right. Never ever contains one of the lousiest choruses I've ever heard. While A is just a boring song for me, Damn. this level of inconsistency is one of the reasons why God 7 isn't as big as they could have been. Damn. Sorry, not sorry. I was initially would going you, to put you, every post really really song here, but I don't think all of them were bad. Except for this one of Oh course. god. This is one of the only few K-pop songs that makes me visibly cringe. Is it what the actual heck was that auto-tuning? The premise of the song was already uninteresting and they still managed to fuck it up more anyways. She's vine Does dances. YG Jesus even Christ. care about making good music anymore? Damn. Damn, that's cr- Damn. Why do I feel like this is some shit off of Cheetah Girls? But that shit hard. What are you talking about? I really don't see the hey, appeal of this hey. song. SM wanted some money, but the members were incomplete, so they made them a subunit as an excuse. Wow. Then shows the absolute most boring song they can find in their <laughs> drafts. This song isn't even bad, it's just so mediocre and boring. Jesus. Every group was dropping bops in 2018 while the biggest girl group releases the most tasteless song ever created. What the hell is happening with this video? What's wrong with this video? I mean, song. Literally, who allowed BTS to make this the title track? Oh, fuck you. What is the, um, the part in DNA when it's like, it goes quiet and then Tay just be like, And it was like, bro, son, the reason why I like this song, the reason why I like this DNA is only because like at that part when it was like, and it was like at that part with Tay and it just like increasingly went back to the chorus. Bro, that shit, oh, that shit was like a, like a nice, like a nice poo. Like the feeling of a nice shit. You know what I'm saying? Like that, oh my Jesus Christ. Oof, yes. Like why? They had such a good run before this yet they went and ruined their streak. Hold on. Wait. DNA came out, which, which album was DNA? Because that shit, hold on. Wait a damn second. Let me, this was Love Yourself series, right? This was definitely Love Yourself series. Yeah. Hell Yeah. This was, um, which one? Love Yourself Answer. Are you serious? Bro, Answer had hella shit. Oh. Nah, you tripping. You tripping. You tripping, cuz. You tripping. I'm looking at the track list. You're tripping. Euphoria, Serendipity, Dimple, Singularity, Fake Love, Seesaw, Epiphany, Idol. Magic shot, best of me, airplane part two, go go, and pen man, Mike Jo Did you trip it, nigga? Ugh. Thank God fake love was amazing. Or this song <laughs> would have been more unbearable. You're like Oh fuck you. I love this song. Get the fuck out of here. Get the I <sighs> Also, I hope this is very late. It's like 14 minutes in, but um I hope y'all know I'm not taking this like completely seriously. I'm just being like dramatic. Yeah, these ambulance songs. Please stop it. Fuck you. I know it's J-pop, but hear me out. <laughs> Not all of them are bad. I still think Sukito is one of the best and most unique Japanese releases ever from a K-pop group. 
like a literal J-pop song sung by a K-pop group, it was amazing. I also think Beware was somewhat listenable, but for Vampire and Buenos Aires, ha 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 Buenos Aires, no. yes. these two songs are perfect guides on how to make a bad song, production and theme wise. Oh my god. I love the flower girl so much but come on what the fuck is this? <laughs> my ears bleed just by the presence of these songs existing. Oh this isn't even the worst one. Oh, god. They also have b-sides for the album, which are much much worse. Oh god. Yes, it gets worse. Not good, not mediocre, just straight up garbage. Bruh. And this is coming from someone who cried for this K-pop group. And uh, now this video's over. Uh-uh. Nope. You got me fucked up. You got me fucked up. Nigga, you used it in one of your fucking videos, you bitch. The reason why I love this song is because of you. You fucking bitch.